is Rasmus Hoyland? He's kind of Erling Haaland? No. This is not the case. Now I will tell you who Rasmus is, how he behaves on the field, his strengths and weaknesses, how he's different from Erling, and why this is a great transfer for Manchester United. If you look at his name, height, position on the field, and his blonde hair, you can immediately think that's basically Haaland. And he's Scandinavian as well. But no, these are completely different players. Hoyland is 191 centimeters, possesses a powerful left foot, and shares a brutish quality in the final third. The advantage is that even with a lot of height, he's still fast and can quickly get behind defenders. Maybe that's what we're going for in football. After all, it used to be that bigger players couldn't be very fast, but now we're seeing changes in strikers. Now speed and height can be combined like never before, and this trend is gaining popularity. So, how can Rasmus Hoyland be useful for Man United? Hoyland shares some similarities with Haaland in his game. One of them is the eagerness to position himself in central areas. Some strikers tend to roam into wider spaces in order to create a room for themselves. However, even when playing in different tactical systems at Atalanta, Hoyland remains inclined towards central areas, much like his time at Storm Graz. In fact, a comparison of his touch maps between the two clubs Clubs reveals a striking similarity. One of Hoyland's greatest strengths is his ability to sniff out a goal in any situation. He often moves deep into midfield and draws defenders with him in order to create and exploit spaces for his teammates. Hoyland possesses very impressive mid-range and long-range shooting skills with his left foot and is capable of holding up the ball for teammates to provide them with assists when playing with his back to goal. He is extremely dangerous on the counter thanks to his pace and acceleration, and he knows how to use his body to shield the ball from defenders. Hoyland prioritizes high value chances over low value shots and always seeks to position himself advantageously. Can you imagine how many attacking options will Man United have? And that's from a striker who's just 20 years old. I think his style can be improved even more and adjusted to fit his team. It all depends on the ambitions of his manager. Due to his lack of experience, Rasmus often makes mistakes. Of course, you might think he's too inexperienced for Man United. You may be right about that, but Hoyland has very good physical data. I think this is a player with huge potential in the future. This is one of the reasons to buy him now, because then he can cost more than 100 million euros. With proper advancement as a professional player at Manchester United, he will be able to get rid of his weaknesses and make far fewer mistakes. Rasmus doesn't score many goals from a distance, in that he's pretty similar to Haaland. His movement inside the box is elusive. He accelerates quickly in short areas, which is perfect for getting ahead of lead-footed centre-backs. Also, just as Haaland, his left foot strikes are crazy strong and he can power shoot into the top corner. But unlike the Norwegian, I'd say he has more range in his scoring, more delicate. He's got dinks, he's got lobs. Is he as good? Well, at his age, Haaland was already scoring close to a goal per game. So for me, I'd say that Hoyland has to up his game dramatically if he wants to be thought of in the same vein as Haaland. His shot map and underlying numbers are very similar too, suggesting that Hoyland has been able to translate his game exceptionally well, despite moving to a more difficult league. Across 1,832 minutes in Serie A, Hoyland scored 9 goals from an XG of 9.5. His XG per shot average is 0.18, almost identical to what he posted for Storm Graz. Hoyland took just 3 shots from outside of the penalty area in Serie A this season, and even those were within 2 yards of the box. He isn't one to waste possession with low value shots. Instead, he's always looking to get into better positions. 
Hoyland isn't yet as much of a volume monster. Across his time with Storm Graz and Atalanta, he's averaged just 2.4 shots per 90 and he has an XG per 90 of 0.41. By comparison, Haaland has averaged 3.8 shots per 90 across his time with Red Bull Salzburg, Borussia Dortmund and the Premier League champions and he's posted an XG per 90 average of 0.90 and the trend for Haaland shot per game is increasing year on year. Being compared to Haaland from a volume perspective is always going to be a hiding to nothing though and Hoyland's XG per 90 in 2022-2023 of 0.47 is very respectable in Serie A. Just 10 players can boast a better tally. The spread of shots is interesting though, with Hoyland, 24% of shots, showing a slightly higher tendency to take headed shots compared to Haaland's 22%. Hoyland is also a lot more open to using his weaker foot too, with close to 25% of his efforts coming via his right foot. By comparison, just 15% of Haaland's attempts have been with his right. Given the age of both strikers, these are obviously small sample sizes, but they are subtle yet important differences because while the Atalanta man isn't as lethal as Haaland, his variety of shot selection shows there are potentially several ways in which he can hurt you. Unpredictability in the penalty area is a useful trait to have, especially as a goal scorer, and Hoyland has it. The forward made headlines across the international break earlier this year for his performances for Denmark mark, netting five times in two games, including a hat-trick against Finland, to sit top of the Euro 2024 qualifying scoring charts. Atalanta manager Gian Piero Gasparini has praised the 20-year-old's spirit, energy, intensity and technical quality, which he believes has a lot of room for improvement. Rasmus Hoyland is a complete forward who possesses a determined mindset with a killer instinct in front of the goal. He is a versatile attacking player who can operate on the wing as a second striker or even as an attacking midfielder. Hoyland's agility, coordination and decent pace, given his size, make him a great attacking threat, especially when paired with a pacey strike partner of the player that Gasparini mentioned are very useful for the style of play that the manager of Man United, Eric Ten Hag, prefers. The interest in the 20-year-old is understandable. He's still raw in certain areas. His link-up play in particular needs refinement, but regular minutes will see him improve. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and check out my video on how Erling Haaland became the best EPL striker.